guys, uh, Undercover Prepper here with a uh, quick little prepper news break. Um, in case anybody didn't know, uh, yesterday the governor of Minnesota, the lovely Governor Walls, um, he just dictated a new mandate that... I shouldn't really call it a mandate, but it's um, it's a new program incentive that they're running, and it's geared towards our kids. And this has got me irate. When I first heard about this, I just wanted to. I just wanted to basically start shouting at, at this guy I mean this this is ridiculous I mean now they're offering 12 to 17 year olds a $200 bonus if they go in and get the hokey pokey prickly thing in their arm Or, um, and or they enter in, into a, uh, some kind of a scholarship, chance to win a scholarship. I can't remember how much it is, like $10,000 or something like that. But I, I really don't care how much it is. The fact that they're now targeting our kids with these incentives is ridiculous. I mean, what's next? Is it going to be... Oh, the children have to be uh, getting the prickly thing in their arm. I mean, what, what's... I mean, what, what's going to happen? Really, guys. Now... When I see what they just put into place here, I find it alarming because of the fact that it's just one more step closer to some kind of mandate to target children. I mean, for crying out loud, they're bribing them. Children. That's got to be against the law. That's got to be something that people should go to jail for bribing children I wish I was kidding but I'm not now if this is happening here in my state I wonder how many other states might be doing something like this that I am unaware of maybe some of you guys have heard about this sort of thing going on I've heard about plenty of incentive programs for adults, but not children. This is the first I've heard of, but, I mean, it, it's, I feel like it's coming to the point where we're going to have to stand our ground against some kind of forced situation. So. Guys, please talk to your children. Make sure they're informed and don't rush into something that, in my opinion, is experimental rushed science at best. That's my opinion. Everybody's got their own. I'm not going to say what you should do, but... The thing is, guys, they're coming after our kids now, and it just simply isn't right. So I highly encourage you to speak to your children, whether you are in this state or not, because if it's happening here, 
Odds are it's going to start happening elsewhere if it, if it hasn't already started elsewhere. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if Minnesota is the first state to do so um, to give this incentive because sometimes this state likes to act a lot like California over there. So I wouldn't be surprised at all. But uh, yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much all I came on to talk about. But it's a very important thing. And I had to share it with, with all of you in case you hadn't already heard about this. Because we're talking about our children here. And I tell you, I already started talking to my children about this. Um, or I did talk to my children about this. And thankfully, they're not on board with it regardless. They don't care how much money they're offering. <laughs> so, and, and to be honest with you, um, what, what I said, um, what I said to uh, my eldest child, the only one that's actually eligible at this point in time, um, the only reason I bring it up to, to the rest of my kids is because, you know, you know they're trying to push for all children to be allowed, you know, ages 5, 5 to, you know, 5 and up to be allowed to get the prickly thing. And so, you know, I, I think it's important that all of my children are aware um, not to just go do something behind mommy and daddy's back. Uh, because they're offering money. Um, but anyways, my eldest, uh, she is eligible for this bribery that they have going on. And, you know, had she even gave any inclination that she was willing to do it, I tell you what I would have done right, right on the spot. If they were offering her $200 to get the hokey pokey prickly thing, I would have said, I'll buy it out. In other words, I will pay you more than what our corrupt government is trying to pay. I, I literally would. I would pay, I would turn around and pay her $250, $300 whatever the case be to avoid it and some of y'all might think that's crazy but you know what we're you know when we're when we're having to do battle like this um I think that uh it's a it's a a viable option when you're talking about our children here um and that's that's my opinion you know some some of you would say well if she wanted to if she wanted to get it um why not just let her well because like i said it's to me sign it, it's it's rush science at best when they say trust the science I say it's rushed at best because you don't just come up with these things instantly. So either something devious is going on um, and they know or they literally rushed this thing threw it together and it's basically a giant experiment. That's how I feel about it. And so in this situation I am willing to if they are bribing my children I am willing to pay more than what the government is offering the the local gov government here in Minnesota I would literally offer more not to get it because for instance she has never been interested in getting this thing she's not living in fear none of my children are and 
none of them are interested in going and getting the hokey pokey prickly thing. And if suddenly my daughter's interested because they're offering two hundred dollars, you better believe that I'm gonna fight with the same exact strategy that they're using and I'll pay more because money often does talk unfortunately and if especially you know it, it works in the business world right well it works with children as well and they're gonna go with the better deal right anyhow um, I'm, I'm kind of dragging this video on I know um, I'm gonna jump off here I got my point across and uh, I'll just close with saying guys be on your toes because I'm sure there's more stuff coming down the pipes they've been inching further and further into dictator like mandates and I don't see it stopping anytime soon so plan ahead prep for these kind of things and have your own strategies try to think of what they might do next and be prepared to deal with that all right guys undercover prepper signing out